All right, guys. So jumping on into more uh, uh, international typographic style or uh, Swiss style for those of us who are short on time. Um, basically, what we're doing is creating a poster, sort of a minimalist sort of uh, typographic style poster, um, using a sort of tried and true technique of some sort of concentric circles that get bigger that we then sort of like create a little design out of. That's um, uh, part of the whole thing with um, your, uh, uh, shall we say, um, international typographic style is that you eschew decoration and just have one dominating graphic element um, that's going to allow you to uh, kind of focus your design on the message. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll create a series of circles and uh, we're going to use this design to say, create a little poster for uh, maybe a musical album that you like, or maybe even a series, like maybe a movie or chapters of books that you might enjoy or something like that, you know, whatever you like to do. is basically we're gonna have like title artist and then a list and stuff. Um, so we'll, 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 get, we'll get there in a second here. So let's start off by just filling up the screen with a rectangle here. So I chose an A4 page. The A4 page is a sort of the standard size of paper if you go to like Europe. Um, the thing about the A4 pages is that um, if you fold it in half, it will have the same sort of ratio, like say for instance, two to three, if you fold it in half, it'll be two to three the same way and stuff, right? So it's a little bit different in terms of, um, just slightly different in terms of uh, size. It's the standard millimeter. Anyways, so let's fill this up with um, any color you like. I'll, I'll do black just because it'll be easier to see with uh, everything. I'll take the stroke off. <clears throat> so you can choose whatever you like. Just make sure that it shows up well. Um, against white. Make sure it's not too too light of a color. And I'll just sort of pull this down to where it kind of lines up with the artboard. Um, and then we're going to just choose a, kind of a corner. It's going to be off center. So it can be any corner you like. Top, left, right, whatever. I'm going to choose mine down to be the bottom. I'm going to create a series of circles here with my ellipse tool. So I'll start off with just a random circle. Hold on, shift, create your circle. Let's take off the fill. Let's turn on the stroke. Something contrasting, something easy to see. And we'll pull this up to like say two points, maybe four points. No, two points. Okay. Anyways, um, let's drag this to where we want. I might make this a bit bigger to where it doesn't, it, so it sort of overlaps the edges here. And then what we'll do is we'll just control C, control F, and we'll pull this out holding an Alt and Shift just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit there. And once again, control C, control F, and we'll pull this out, but we'll pull it out to where it looks even bigger than like, say like the space between these two lines are, is bigger than the space between those other two lines. Control C, control F, same deal. Just eyeball this. There's no real, you know, golden ratio to this. You could use the golden ratio to this if you wanted to, like, you know, um, one, two, four, whatever, um, <clears throat> or one, one, two, three, five. But in this case, I think we're just fine with eyeballing it here. Control C, control F, hold on, shift and alt make this even bigger. I think we probably have room for one more. Control C, Control F, Alt, and then we can just have this sort of be the sort of top corner there. Okay, so um, with this, with any of these selected, uh, easy way to select in, uh, all these little lines here is just gonna select same stroke color, right? Um, and then what we'll do is go to object, path, and we'll go to outline strokes, hold down shift, select your rectangle, and just subtract that from your circle here. So we have these little circles. They're all different paths. Um, I think if you go to isolation mode, you can select them all one at a time and stuff. We won't need to do all that. Just keep them, keep them together for now. I will, however, grab this one in the center, and I might just take this out completely. And we just have our little space down here. Okay, so this is where our text is going to go. Now to create this little effect, uh, what we'll do is I'm just going to kind of uh, get my line tool. So line tool over here, it's the backslash key on your keyboard. It's right above the enter key. I'm going to find the center of this circle here. It should highlight the little center there. I'm just going to hold on the alt key and just drag it straight up. Or really any direction. Doesn't matter. And then I'll just color this white to where I can see this just white 
points here. Okay, cool. And then um, we'll just grab this line. Just make sure it extends on both sides here, so we, you can you know um, you can use it both sides here. Now we'll just um, go to we'll just right click on it. We'll click on this. Transform. Go to rotate and say 15 degrees. Maybe 10 degrees. Okay, press copy. And then control D, hold down control, just tap D until you go all the way around. Okay, cool. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we'll select everything. So if you're on the keyboard, just select everything. Or if you go over here to your layers menu and you see layer one, you can see this little circle right here that selects everything. Let's get our shape builder tool, control or shift M on the keyboard. And now we'll start building this, um, this little uh, uh, shape here. So for instance, if I hold down the Alt key, um, I can sort of just hover over these lines here and I can create this sort of, uh, shall we say, shape like that, right? And maybe even, I can keep this right here. I might just get rid of this. And then I'll, I'll take this and just Alt drag across these shapes here and maybe have it end well, let's undo that. Have it and maybe a little bit in front of this one here. Same thing up here. Just go pull that back, and then from there you can just you can, you can build this up any way you like, or you can say, for instance, maybe come from the other side here. Maybe pull this back some. Pull this up a little bit, like so. Maybe I'll just pull this one back even further, like this. Any way you really like here. And then just make sure we get rid of this stuff on the edges. This right here, I can pull this back some. And then get rid of this in the corner. I'll leave that up there. Didn't quite hit the all the edges there. All right, and so that should be good as far as the shape building. Let me just double check. I'll just get rid of this down in the corner. And uh, I'll just click on V on the keyboard. Once again, grab one of these lines here. Select same stroke color and just delete and now we have our little shape here right and so once again we've got a dominant graphic shape that kind of takes up most of the screen um i might actually just back this up some and keep a little more of this top line here and just get rid of this sort of alt shift m and just gonna get a little bit more of this get it off there get this here that. Here we go. Okay, so I'll just do a little more of that. And then once again, select same. Obviously, yours does not have to look exactly like mine. So just go whichever way you want. And I'm going to um, fill this up with the uh, uh, song list of one of my favorite albums from when I was a kid. Um, Van Halen's Diver Down. So rest in peace, Eddie Van Halen. So I'll just type Van Halen, artist name. If you want to do like a book, right? And then you want to like say, put the artist, put the author's name there first, uh, you could. So just uh, pull this up. I'm using, that's, I'm going to use that same font we've been using, the um, Exodus, Breathful Exodus Grotesque, right? And I'll just pull this down to give you the name of the album here. The album's called Diver Down. And I'll just list out the names of the songs in a different text box, a little bit smaller. I'll just drag this out like so. And we'll just say, where have all the good times gone? Cathedral. So you put in whatever, like, the chapters of the book. You know, say, for instance, Tolkien has a bunch of memorable names to chapters, like Long Speech of Party, Girls in the Dark. Etc. Et right. And we can make this bigger, smaller, whatever you like to kind of fit this in. I'll just sort of pull this together. This is also a both hold. I mean, it's just slightly, just make everything just a bit bigger. In there. And so once again, we have 
aligned on the left and ragged right here. Um, I should just get in a little closer. This has a little subtitle to it. Oops. Okay, so lastly, what you can do is you can um, just select everything here. For instance, I can go to, once again, properties or layers. So just click this little button here, and you can change the fill to whatever you want. So if you've ever seen this little diving um, uh, uh, tags where it's like the, the red with like the, the white stripe and stuff, you could, you know, uh, you might know what I'm talking about there. I'll just make it a little bit darker. Um, you can make it whatever color you like, uh, whatever would help, uh, would, would match up with your, with your thing here. I'm going to just grab this little guy down here. Give a hand. Okay. And then when I export this, it's going to look, it's going to fit right into this little um, artboard here. So once again, export for screens as JPEG, call it um, Swiss style for last name. Export it. One X. And there we have it. Cool. Um, all right. So just um, whatever you like in terms of either like a, a book or an album, like what you like, or some kind of, uh, well, I don't even like, you know, name either the different worlds you go to when you go on, you know, uh, your vi the video game that you like, whatever it is, the different maps that you're a fan of when you're playing. Um, whatever video games you guys play. Um, all right, there you go. So uh, that looks kind of cool. I can't wait to see you guys produce. See you in class.